Occupy Inauguration, a coalition of a number of social activist groups, collectively denounced Trump's stances on immigration, women's rights, and ecological preservation. Included in the crowd were the Green Party, Indigenous Peoples of Standing Rock, and Veterans for Peace. Protesters marched from Columbia Heights to McPherson Square, with onlookers joining in as the march progressed. But as the march continued downtown, confusion ensued after an altercation with police. Let's go to the From uh, what I've seen, it's people have been talking about rubber bullets being being hit with rubber bullets, tear gas. They're saying they're using flashbacks. Uh, well, we heard it started with a, a Standing Rock protester, one of the elders there, and he um, he got pepper sprayed right in the face, and that kind of started stuff. Dick Roman, who traveled from Minnesota to support Trump, says protesters were the aggressors in the scuffle. People were throwing rocks at the police officers. I saw a lot of people throwing rocks, so it's not like the cops were doing it without any. Uh, violence towards them first. The violence didn't stop those who came to protest peacefully. Occupation inauguration ended as planned with a rally in McPherson Square. As far as I'm concerned, you know, this is a moment um, of unity. For Howard University News Service, I'm Sydney King.